Hello guys, welcome to Sadiq Savitri. It's your boy Sadiq once again and today I'm going to show you how you will know or signs you should take into consideration if you want to know if a rabbit is sick or not. So that's the topic for today and I just want you to know more about rabbitry and all other stuff so if you haven't yet subscribed make sure you do so because we are he heading to 700 subscribers guys so make sure you subscribe and let's continue the gen now it's not kind of a big deal to know whether a rabbit is sick or not you just have to like monitor them for a while before you know like their do's and don'ts or what they like what they don't like and how they, they behave in the morning and other stuff so if if you see that like uh your rabbit is active in the morning and one day you came he's not active in the morning then it means something is a stick so you need to take that into consideration now the first sign is you see that uh maybe you brought them at your farm like uh three days ago and you've been monitoring them as time goes on you've been monitoring them and you saw that one rabbit has like a swollen belly all right so if you see that you don't need to joke about it all right it's it's a cause of blood blood that's what's called it's a cause of blood so when you see a rabbit with a swollen belly in the morning when you just came to your backyard you're about to feed them and you saw that here yeah, this this rabbit has a swollen belly that means he's in a like cause of blood right and what causes that is like these greens when the greens is too much for them it can cause blood uh, on your rabbit so for me like this i don't normally give them the greens every time so like today i'm not giving them greens only their normal feed and that's it their normal feed and water so i'm not giving them any greens for today and maybe tomorrow too i'm not giving them greens unless monday before i can give them greens in order to minimize bloating on the farm you know so when bloating occurs there are so many things you can do to uh ensure that you can reduce it that's the use of uh coconut oil like coconut oil giving it coconut oil for about three days or one week then that's it you can just get rid of it and the second sign is inactive uh, rabbit like you came in the morning when you just came you saw that uh, a rabbit that you've known for a long time that this guy he's a very active guy whenever you you come you're about to feed them he, he knows that yeah it's time for breakfast <laughs> it's time for breakfast so you'll just be jumping around and suddenly one day you came on the farm in the morning then you just saw big a uh, big boy just lying there doing nothing and that means something is wrong with him and if you don't take things into consideration he might just die so you need to take this serious when you come to the farm and you see a rabbit just lying there slowly inactive and he's like kind of bored and you need to check him very very early unless maybe uh, you can just you know slaughter it <laughs> but no, no no I'm just joking so you, you need to take this serious right so if you if you like came and you saw that you can just separate him from the others it may be it's a winner or something like that yeah so you can just separate him from the others and just isolate it for a while a day or two so that you can know what you do about it and the third step is loss of appetite so maybe you have a rabbit maybe you you have a group of winners and you have the the, the one that he he doesn't joke with food right so and you came one day he he just uh just was lying there when you just put the food inside he didn't do anything about the food he just looked at it and just went back so that means something is wrong with it all right so in, in case you came and you saw that you can just try giving it uh, what's the name bitter leaf right you can give it bitter leaf when you just take it then that's it you can just uh, like separate him and just have some food for him he'll take it so that's what you can do about that loss of appetite right and it's also one of the signs of a sick rabbit and that can also cause death all right so he doesn't eat at all or she doesn't eat at all so they'll just finish the food and he will be there maybe he's angry or whatever so you just have to take that into consideration and the sign is the poop 
poop all right so when uh you monitor your rabbit very very well you will see that whenever you come here your poop is already dried and like in a solid form right so suddenly you came one day and you saw that their poop just are uh, changed to somehow liquid form then it means uh some of the rabbits have diarrhea all right some of the uh, rabbits have diarrhea so i think this is some of my rabbit's poop and as you can see check it out so it's kind of like in a solid form so it means we have no problem on this or <laughs> on this farm right we have no problem or in this backyard we have no problem so i got these samples under their cages and i think it's a good start all right it's just a good start so we can just maintain it like this and i hope i hope you'll be pooping like this all right <laughs> so i hope you'll be pooping like this normally no big deal like in a, in a liquid form no no we don't like that no so i think this this kind of like a good good uh poop so this the result you need to have on your farm then if you don't have this it means your rabbits have diarrhea and you can just consult your uh, veterinarian then he can just uh, check it out for you so now i have given you five signs you can know whether a rabbit is sick or not which is loss of weight loss of appetite swollen belly inactive rabbits and also the texture of the poop so hey make sure you subscribe to sadiq's rabbitry it's your boy sadiq and he'll be bringing you much much more about rabbit farming so stay tuned till next time